Welcome back to Blood Sugar Squad, your go-to channel for simple, actionable tips to manage diabetes and live your best life. If you've ever felt frustrated by finger pricks, unpredictable highs, or not knowing exactly where your blood sugar is headed, continuous glucose monitors, or CGMs, can feel like a game changer. But with big names like Freestyle Libre 3 and Dexcom G7 dominating the market, which one really gives you the best balance of accuracy, comfort, and cost? Today, we're breaking down both devices, head-to-head, -head, so you can make an informed choice. Segment 1. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is a CGM? A continuous glucose monitor is a small wearable device that tracks your blood sugar 24 7 Unlike traditional blood glucose meters, which require a finger prick and a drop of blood, a CGM uses a tiny sensor placed just under your skin, usually on your arm or abdomen, to measure glucose levels in your interstitial fluid. The device then sends this information to your smartphone, reader, or smartwatch, giving you real-time updates on where your blood sugar is, and importantly, where it's going. For anyone managing type 1 or type 2 diabetes, CGMs can provide early warnings about spikes or drops, help fine-tune insulin dosing, and even uncover patterns you'd miss with once-a-day testing. Think of it as a personal blood sugar coach that's always watching your back. Two of the most popular CGMs on the market today are the Freestyle Libre 3 by Abbott and the Dexcom G7. Both promise top-tier accuracy, convenience, and features, but they're not the same. Let's dive into how they compare. Segment 2. Overview of Freestyle Libre 3. The Freestyle Libre 3 is the latest generation of Abbott's popular Libre line, and it's a huge leap from the earlier versions like the Libre 2. What makes Libre 3 stand out? Size. The Libre 3 is the smallest and thinnest CGM on the market. It's about the size of two stacked pennies, making it almost invisible under clothing. Sensor wear time. Each sensor lasts 14 days, which means fewer changes and less hassle. Real-time readings. Unlike older Libre models where you had to scan the sensor with a reader, Libre 3 sends glucose data automatically to your smartphone every minute. That's right, no more swiping your arm to get a reading. Accuracy. Abbott claims a mean absolute relative difference, or MARD, of around 7.9%. MARD is basically how far off a sensor's reading might be compared to a lab-grade blood test. The lower the number, the better. Alarms. Libra 3 offers customizable alarms for highs and lows, which was missing in the original Libra. One thing users love about Libre 3 is its simplicity. The setup process is quick. You apply the sensor with an included applicator, pair it with your phone, and you're good to go. There's no complicated calibration needed. Segment 3. Now let's look at the Dexcom G7. Dexcom has been a leader in CGM technology for years, and the G7 represents their most advanced sensor yet. Here's what you get with the G7. Sensor wear time. It lasts 10 days, not quite as long as Libra 3's 14 days, but still solid. Fast warm-up. It's ready to use in just 30 minutes, compared to the G6's two-hour warm-up time. Accuracy. Dexcom G7 boasts a MARD of about 8.2% for adults, which is very competitive. In real-world use, both Dexcom and Libra tend to fall within a few points of each other when compared to finger stick meters. Alarms and alerts. Dexcom's alerts are robust, with customizable thresholds for highs and lows. It's known for predictive alerts, giving you a heads up before a crash or spike. App integration. The Dexcom app pairs with Apple Watches, Android smartwatches, and other platforms. It's designed to share data with loved ones or healthcare providers, an essential feature for parents of kids with type 1 diabetes. Slimmer design. The G7 is 60% smaller than its predecessor, making it more comfortable and less noticeable. Where Dexcom really shines is in its predictive data and trend arrows, which help users anticipate changes before they happen. For people who fine-tune insulin dosing or want tight control, this is a big deal. Segment 4. Accuracy is one of the most important factors in choosing a CGM. After all, you're making insulin and food decisions based on these numbers. In clinical studies, both Libre 3 and Dexcom G7 show excellent accuracy with a MARD under 9%, which is considered top tier. In real-world conditions, most users report that both sensors are within 10 points of finger stick readings. However, Dexcom's predictive algorithms and slightly better handling of rapid glucose changes, like after exercise or a big meal, may give it a slight edge for people who want ultra-tight control. Libra 3, on the other hand, is impressively stable and consistent, and most users find the readings very reliable. It's worth noting that both devices can lag a few minutes behind blood readings because they measure interstitial fluid, not blood. This is normal for all CGMs. 
Segment 5. Let's talk money, because CGMs are not cheap. The Libre 3 has built a reputation for being the more affordable option. Out of pocket, each sensor costs roughly $70 to $90 for 14 days, though insurance and pharmacy discounts can bring that price down significantly. The Dexcom G7, while not outrageously expensive, tends to cost more, around $100 to $120 per sensor for 10 days. And because you'll need three sensors per month compared to Libre's two, that cost adds up. If you have private insurance or Medicare, both systems are increasingly covered. But the specifics vary depending on your plan. In general, Libre 3's lower retail price makes it more budget-friendly, especially for people without robust coverage. Segment 6. Comfort is another big deal. Nobody wants a device that feels like a bulky sticker or peels off mid-shower. The Libre 3's tiny size is a huge win here. It's featherlight, low profile, and barely noticeable under clothing. Many users say they forget it's there. Dexcom G7 is also much smaller than the G6, but it's still a bit larger than the Libre 3. However, its adhesive is known for being durable, which is great if you're active or sweat a lot. Both sensors are water resistant, so showers and light swimming are fine. One key difference? Dexcom sensors come with a built-in transmitter. No need to buy that separately, while Libre 3 sensors are all in one units. Segment seven, so which CGM is the winner? The truth is, it depends on you. If you want the smallest, most discreet sensor at the lowest cost, and you like a no-fuss system with great accuracy, the Freestyle Libre 3 is tough to beat. If you want advanced predictive alerts, tighter integration with wearables, and don't mind spending a bit more, the Dexcom G7 might be the better pick. Some users even switch between the two based on what their insurance covers that month. Both devices are excellent, FDA-approved tools that can dramatically improve diabetes management. Before we wrap up, here are a few quick tips for getting the most out of your CGM. Always double-check extreme highs or lows with a finger stick, especially if you feel off. Rotate your sensor placement to avoid skin irritation or scarring. Use protective overlays if you're active or swim a lot. They help keep the sensor in place. Work with your healthcare team to understand your data and adjust your insulin or diet accordingly. A CGM is only as powerful as how you use it. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to the Blood Sugar Squad for more practical, real-world tips to manage diabetes. And if you've tried either the Libre 3 or Dexcom G7, drop a comment below. Your experience could help someone else make the right choice. Until next time, stay strong, stay sweet, but not too sweet, and keep thriving with the Blood Sugar Squad.